We just talked to Zach. Um, you got to know him a little bit, and maybe what's a guy like that going to maybe add to the defense? Oh, yeah, no. Nah, I mean, just like watching film, we were preparing for the Texans. You can just see he pops out on the tape, a uh, physical, fast uh, player, and he makes plays. And you can't have too many of those on the, on the defense side of the ball. So I'm excited to have him. Can't wait to line up next to him on Sunday. I like uh, seeing Bud kind of ramp things up a little bit this week, and you're encouraged by, by what you see there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, he's another guy I'm excited to play with again. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, I mean, from what I see out there, I mean, he looks good, and I'm just excited to be able to play next to him again. On the offense, they were saying that uh, even though Julio might not be at 100%, he still impacts the game. Is that similar for, for Bud defensively, even if he's not at 100 You know, he's still a, a factor and, and makes an impact and forces offenses to kind of look out for him a little bit? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't even know how to answer that. I just know him being out there, uh, it, it definitely helps our defense, no question about it. Um, he's a talented player, um, great pass rusher, and we could always use those on our defense. So. What's a game like Sunday where you guys pitch a shutout and, and, and pick off a lot of passes? Dude, not only for the confidence, but maybe for the energy, just trying to pick up where you left off this week. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I just think that <clears> – <throat> Definitely, uh, you know, the more times you go out there and you do, you have performances like that, it just builds towards that, that confidence. And, you know, the more reps you have at it, the more success you experience, uh, the more confidence that breeds. Uh, so we just got to keep preparing and keep doing what we're doing. Um, and we just got to go out there and, uh, and everybody just do their jobs. And I think we can have that same thing happen. Did you find that coming off the bye week that you were maybe a little bit recharged and uh, felt fresher maybe than you had in a while? Because it, it, you get way to get a sack on Sunday. Yeah, no, I think you know, uh, you know, just speaking individually, I felt like the bye definitely helped me out a lot. Um, it allowed me that rest. Um, like I told y'all, you know, this, the NFL is a long season, and I felt like we had a late bye, uh, so I think that bye definitely helped me, you know, uh, get my legs back and uh, uh, help me going forward for the remainder of the season. Do you do anything different, Not to look too far ahead, but do you do anything different knowing when you have like? games in five days, basically? Nah. Nah, I'm just focused on the Steelers right now, so. A guy like Roethlisberger, what's the challenge against a guy like that? You know where he's going to be, um, and can that... Oh, uh, yeah. What's that, what, what's that like? It's a fair plan for a guy where you know where he's going to be. He's going to be in the pocket. He's not going to run as much, and is that a good thing? Uh, I mean... He's definitely a guy that's played a lot of years in the NFL. Um, so having him having that experience definitely uh, helps him. Uh, he's a great quarterback, uh, one of the greatest to ever do it. Um, he also gets the ball out fast. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I mean, he's definitely trying to make plays from within the pocket. And it's going to be, you know, up to our front to, you know, get into the pocket and, you know, affect him. Did you get him, did you get him last year on a sack or have you sacked him? I don't yet? think so. Okay. Pretty heavy and as sturdy as any quarterback that you face around the league, and does it sometimes take multiple guys to get him down? Uh, I think uh, that's definitely another challenge, you know, him being a bigger quarterback. Um, but yeah, nah, I mean, <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do. But not, it'll definitely be a challenge with him being a bigger quarterback. A stat uh, that you're only one of three guys in the NFL with uh, with at least 60 tackles and 10 sacks. Uh, just your, your thoughts on those numbers, and does it kind of show that that you're, you know, you're obviously not just strictly a, a pass rush kind of guy, but an all-round contributor? Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I feel like I said before, you know, I pride myself on being versatile, um, being able to move me around and do different things, and you know, I just feel like you know those numbers speak towards that.